Where'd that one go? Are they done? Where's the other one at? The other what? You took it in? Yes, I gave it to Zach. Okay. Oh, I, I don't want one. You don't want one? No, I'm hovering at 148 and 149 and I can't get any lower. I think you should at least take one bite and experience it. So, maybe. It just maybe just eat that. Because it's not very good, my potatoes. It's for our memories when we had s'mores at the campfire in 2021. When, you know, hold it. It's some good stuff. Huh? I mean, who doesn't like s'mores? Right. So far away. <laughs> I'm taking video. I was telling you this way. <laughs> you're not taking a video. Yes, I am. I, I like, know there. you're not. Huh? The camera light's on, but you're not taking a video. Okay, here's our sausage are done. Perfect. We're done, I should say. Um, so we got some mustard. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Some ketchup. And barbecue sauce. And a knife. We cut some pieces and have a dipper. So we need some barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do barbecue sauce? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Some mustard, or oh, you got mustard? Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Yeah, good because we, good because we made them. Not, no, because you made them. <laughs> Remember, I was confused when I was a kid going to college because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, at that time, it seemed like there was a lot less things to do. You went mm -hmm. to college, you became, you go into factory, there's a lot less things. Yeah. Now there's like, there's college and there's like, start up, there's like 10,000 other things. So the kid getting in out of high school now has got to like, 10,000 more choices available to him what he should mm. do, right? It's not yeah. a fork in the road. It's like 10,000 streets. Which one do you pick? And that's the problem. I can't pick. <laughs> well, who would be able to? Um, how are you supposed to know what you're going to do for the rest of your life when you're 18? No. Yeah. Stupid. Yeah. <clears throat> Truly. Well, that's the system we got set up, but it's fucked. Uh-huh. It? Stupid. I should have the kids go to the next level and have some kind of apprenticeship where they're teaching other kids or they're doing something and they move up as they grant you there sh there should there should be an understanding that this age that they're still trying to figure out what they want to do and they can't possibly know. They don't have the life experience. No. Right? They don't have any knowledge of what's really out there. Can't possibly know. No. 
we're gonna pigeonhole them in a direction and so be it. That's just crazy. <laughs> well, it is. My next module coming up in classes I teach, career. I gotta get everybody focused on what career they want. Stoop, I don't agree with it. Not my say so. I wouldn't even have it in my class. Right. But I'm required to, so I gotta direct everybody into a direction and they have to choose a career. They're freaking 18 and 19. They're supposed to pick something for the rest of their life? No. They should be exploring. They should be just taking classes and figuring out what they like and what they don't like. And as they go along, then they figure it out. It's a zigzag. It's not a straight line. Right. Well, you know what? Not a We're just college. We're not going to care. Are we? We're just going to do what we have to do and have our fun. Hell, I didn't figure out what I wanted to do until it was freaking 30. Right. No, actually mid 30. I changed my mind like six times. All right. Oh, God, I don't want to do that. They only make this much. They work these hours. This is what they do. Oh, no. He's going to be a veterinarian. Mm. Worked for the vet clinic for six years. I was like, oh no, I'm not. That sucks. Mm. It's not, there was no uh, payoff. It should make that kind of shit pay off to where somebody that works there, even though you're not the vet, makes a good living to where they keep good people on. Because well, you're you saying that a, if you're just working there, you're not going to. You make can make a money. fairly decent living, but in order to be a veterinarian, you have to work at a vet clinic first. That's a requirement in order to get into the veterinarian school. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was doing. I was working at a veterinary clinic because I thought that's what I wanted to do. And then I had a really good friend that was a veterinarian, and she said, no, don't do it. Mm -hmm. You work in weekends, you work in evenings, and you come out making thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year. For what, a graduate degree? It's a poor investment of education. Okay, that's it. Anyway. All right, the fact that she could talk me out of it meant I didn't really want to do it that bad. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I had to do it over again, I'd probably be a nurse, actually. It's a better return on investment. Four years and you come out making 50000 60000 Good return on your education in dollars. Well, yeah. I think like a nurse. That's kind of a gateway to anything. Okay. Oh, I know, you know right? You can make three hundred thousand because you're head of some uh, healthcare foundation. Oh, you can, oh, you can specialize. You can go into management. There's. No, that's what I should have done. Every every uh, fucking insurance company that deals with they they gotta have nurses and shit on staff. They do. They gotta, uh huh. You know, they really certainly do. do. But anyway, I mean yeah, yeah, just yeah, you know, there's all kinds of. Yeah, it's only. A, it used to be a two year degree. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, I mean, you, to get to those places, you you know anybody. You, so you get your you're in the industry, then you take a couple classes, and then you got a master's degree. Right. And, exactly. You know, and, what you're going field, up you to know, management, you're, you're, you're doing your specialty, or anesthesiologist, nurse, and you're making buku fucking bucks. No, I could learn psychology, but I got no fucking brain. Hmm. But, it is what it is. Oh, you're here now, baby. Yep. Oh, you did everything perfectly. Oh, to get to this point where I met you, huh? Yeah. Oh, that broken, okay. broken, crooked road. Straight to you. Oh, no. Bless the broken road that led me straight to you. Oh, no. You know what? That's a really good line. It's a song. Yeah. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. You probably didn't really write it. Somebody else did. Oh, of course. Right? Yeah, that's good. That's music machine there, Nashville. I know. Right? It's yeah. a good line, no? Right? Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Hmm. Well, here it goes. Okay, so.